Welcome back to One Hour Limit Locked, where I race to complete some of RuneScape's most iconic challenges, whilst limited to just one hour of gameplay each day. In Season 1, we got ourselves a fire cape in 46 days, and in Season 2, we achieved Barrow's Gloves in just another 38. But now, in Season 3, it's time for our toughest challenge yet. The question is, how many days will it take us to complete our first ever raid on the account? We not only have to get ourselves geared and leveled up just to step inside a raid, we then have to complete it in under one hour, as logging out in the middle will end our run. I've no idea how long this is going to take me, but I can't wait to find out, so join me for the journey here in Season 3 of One Hour Limit Locked, as we become a Tomb Raider. What's good everyone? We are back again. Honestly, it feels so good having my account back. It just it makes me feel like a kid on Christmas. I don't know what it is, but I just love this account, man. We've been through so much. We are here once again for some one hour limit locked action. I'm gonna get on over to my birdie hatches and I'm not bringing Alex with me because we don't have that spell book. I think I need to top up dueling rings because it doesn't look like I have any. Mental note, not even bothering to de-gear at the minute. Maybe I will for the farm run. I can't remember if I actually saved this gear into the tab or not, so I'll have to check before I do. Today, I'm probably just going to do the exact same thing again, but more of it today, because we have less upkeep to do at the start of the day. No miscellaneous to go and top up and everything, and I'm less frazzled at the start of the day, so we should hopefully get a decent timing on the burbs and the herbs here. Looks like we just got a clue. It was an elite clue. I don't think we've ever done an elite clue on this account. That is a very easy first step. I feel like it'd be kind of dumb not to go do that step. Maybe not right now, but I mean, how long does it take to kill an Anku, really? Thing is, we can't teleport to Corrin Castle at the minute because we're on Ancients. Interesting, though. Definitely something to have in the back of my mind to think about. Definitely interesting. Okay, we want a couple of Arak teleports, a Fortis teleport, a House teleport, a Kami teleport. This, this, this. I think we've got everything. Let's get to it. Is that all of them? I feel like I'm missing something. I said I was going to get an efficient farm run today, but... Maybe not. I probably shouldn't be planting these, to be honest, because the price is really not good at the minute. That Avento is, is way better. These are the ones I had, so that's what we're doing. Ah, I'm so used to going to my spellbook tab to teleport. Oh, that was such a fumble. So we should be due both a magic and a defense level today. We're pretty close to both. We need 13k and 15k respectively. Hopefully we'll get a decent way towards the next levels as well because we need to keep going in both regards. And yeah, who knows? Maybe we even get some more goodies along the way. We'll definitely get some decent herbs at the very least. But yesterday is anything to go by. Might be some zombie axes up for grabs. Who knows? I don't wanna, I don't wanna jinx anything. We are very, very under the drop rate. It's like one in 800 and we got one at like, I don't know, around 140, I think. In somewhat unrelated news, I have figured out what weapon, what melee weapon I'm planning to take into raids now. Because I was going to just take the Keras Partisan, the weapon that you get for completing the prerequisite quest. Which is okay, but not amazing. It's what I use on my main, because I'm an Iron Man, I don't have access to shit. But we're not on Iron Man here, we have access to shit. If we have money, we can buy stuff on the GE. And a Zamorokian Haster sounds pretty fucking good to me. I've never held one before, they cost about 4.5 mil I think, maybe 5 mil. And I really care, because we got money. I wanna, I wanna see the swing one, stab one. I don't know if it, swing is the right term, but I wanna, I wanna hold, I wanna put my hands around that shaft. Ah, seven minutes isn't too bad. No, I did the wrong teleport. F. I have to get another one now. Don't worry. Got 
three clues at the minute. We got a medium, a uh, hard, and uh, elite. It's crazy. We're definitely going to have a clue day at some point. Like, 100%. Oh, it's a good job I did actually come here because I didn't have cash in my inventory. Just realized. I usually have the cash because I'm alkin, but I didn't bring it. Okay. All right. So, we are going to want some jeweling rings. Just grab 10 of them. And we need some more ultra compost as well. So, we'll get 100 of them. I'll just leave that there. That's fine. And I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to get back to business. That is not correct. Is this correct? I don't remember what, are these the boots I was wearing? Not really ideal, was it? Okay, we got loads of prayer pots, which is lovely. We need some lobsters. Put those in the tag as well, in the tab as well. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. We're gonna go 10. And we are gonna take our runes, of course, along with our blood runes. And a jeweling ring and a dig site. I think that's all we need. And I'll get there and realize I've forgotten something, but that's okay. Okie dokie then. We've got all our runes, we've got teleports, food, prayer, we are ready to go. Excited to kill some more of these fuckers. Didn't bring a stamina that I said I was considering bringing. That might bite me. That might bite me. Oh no, they've untagged as well. The rangers. There's one. Wait, did I tag the wrong one? That's not one. That's one. Just getting back into the flow of things here at the start of the day. I need to do a better job of stacking them up to get the proper XP rates. I keep worrying about my HP more than my XP and it should be the other way around. Yeah, we're getting very solid XP rates at the minute. Doing better than we did yesterday, so... Currently averaging some quite high numbers on the XP trackers. About 114k magic XP per hour is the estimated total, which is not bad at all. And there is 71 magic, edging closer to the 75 total goal. And as a reminder, that 75 goal is so that we can use the Trident of the Seas which will make a big improvement to the capabilities of our mage gear during raids. And there's another axe! Are you serious? Are you actually serious? What the fuck? I'm, I'm not even- I'm spitting! Like, what? What? <laughs> we are printing money, y'all. Absolutely printing money. And experience right now. I'm absolutely gobsmacked. Sammy has to? Maybe I'm looking at a fang. I mean, I would love a fang, but we need 82 attack for that, which simply isn't happening. Even if we can afford it. I don't know, maybe some bandos tassets are looking to be less out of reach than I assumed they were. I also think three prayer pots was the right call, not four. But I might bring three prayer pots and a stamp. I can't believe we just got another axe. That is insane. What are the chances? I mean, very low are the chances. But we didn't even reset aggro yet. We've been here like 10 minutes. The only thing that sucks about having 
create a look, like stream a look, even though I'm not a streamer, but you know, create a look if you want to call it that. The thing that sucks about it is it only ever happens when you're playing on an account that you're recording. It never happens when you're just playing your normal casual main account. When I'm just playing my Iron Man, oh, I, if you saw my corrupted gauntlet collection log right now, it is atrocious, mate. It is absolutely atrocious. I've got 13 regular weapon seeds and four armor seeds. They're the exact same drop rate. How many weapon seeds do you need? One. How many armor seeds do you need? Six. So I'm still missing two. And on top of that, I've had the pet twice. I got duped on the gauntlet pet the other day, y'all. Rather than getting a fucking fifth armor seed that I'm absolutely desperate for, that was the entire reason I'm there still. It's, it's, the gauntlet's just... It's killing me right now. So that's the bad thing about streamer RNG is that it only pays off on your actual streamed accounts or recorded accounts. It never pays off on your personal playthrough. We are not complaining though. I'm, I'm absolutely buzzing about that. Can't believe we got another one. <laughs> My comments are gonna be disgusting. People are gonna fucking hate me. You know what? I'm gonna take a super defense dose as well. We may as well just drink it at the start, see how it affects. I've got one dose in the bank, so let's just see how it affects us. Two axes. Oh! You only get content like this on one hour limit locked. If there's a noticeable difference in the amount of hits we take with the super defense, then I will probably bring some. Because it might just save me needing to bring lobsters all and save me blood cast while I'm at it. We'll see. We'll see. So far, it's looking like I'm still getting hit a decent amount. So, yeah, I'm still taking a fair amount of damage. I'm basically noticing like zero difference. I'm doing a much better job of grouping them up today. Making sure I get those maximum big burst hits in. Honestly, why would anyone use the Monkey Madness Tunnels anymore? Like, I get it, you take damage here, it's not as AFK. But there's also insane profit to be made here. Rather than just one dose prayer pots that you get from the Monkey Madness Tunnels. Which, sure, is nice to sustain, but this is just... Just as good. And you have that chance of a, a two mil drop. I mean, I guess if you're an Iron Man and you've already got your axe, Monkey Madness Tunnel's probably better. But if you're a main, no reason not to be here, really. And there is 67 defense. We are edging closer towards piety, which is going to be absolutely lovely. Also, Barrow's gear, for whatever that's worth. I don't know if... Like, we could, theoretically, buy Barrow's gear. We don't need blood back. We could buy Aaron's, because we're going to be using the Trident anyway, so... Do I buy Aaron's? It's expensive, right? I feel like the blood back is almost as good as Aaron's. Maybe that's a wild thing to say, but... The stats aren't that much different. There's just better defense on the arrows. Oh, there goes aggro. Still get a bit more in yet with this prayer. I guess it's kind of random when you need to reset. It's because sometimes we're not using that much prayer before resetting. Sometimes we are. I guess it's just depending on how many like herb drops you get and shit like that. But well, we are almost out of prayer. No. Axe on this trip. Bit disappointed to be honest. I'm starting to think these guys might not be worth it after all. Psych! <laughs> we are still very, very, very in the green, both on XP and cash, so these guys are definitely worth it. I'm full up again as well. I should get out of here. Uh, what can I drop for a cardantine? An air leaf. No. Pure essence. You fucking dumbass. Solid, solid day so far. We're not looking to get another level today. Unless we might get a hit points level in just. But no more magic or defense at least. Unfortunately. But we will be very, very close from what I can tell. So that is good at the least. Let's just get some more of these and get straight back on out there. Ooh. Mm.
Um, this range just does not want to get it. Okay, there we go. Why am I even, like, picking up pure essence? What is wrong with me? That's that's just the Iron Man in my brain. Like, there is no reason for me to pick up pure essence. It's worth nothing. But in my head, well, you never know when you might need some pure essence. Yeah, if I do, it's on the fucking G, mate. Get that shit out of your inventory. Taking up space. What are you gonna do? Sell all your pure essence for 300 GP? Fucking printing zombie axes over here. Man's worried about pure essence. What is going on? Yo, we're hella low on chaos. Oh my gosh, our death runes! I was not paying attention to my runes. Holy shit. We might need to pay a quick trip to the GE. We're gonna run out. We can't figure out whether to prayer pot because our death runes are so low. Nah, it's not worth potting here. We've got like 10 casts. 5 casts. 3 casts. Alright, get the fuck out of it. I bet it's a quick trip, so hopefully they don't regen too much. See, we only use one and a bit of prayer pots that time. It's so hard to figure out what the right balance is to bring. Oh, uh, don't put them back. Right down here, we're gonna grab all the random shite, slap it up, and we need death and chaos, right? So let's get 2,000 death runes. Fuck that, 3,000 death runes. And 6,000 chaos, I guess. Okay, hell of an investment. Good job we got a hell of a lot of money. And more on the way. Right, bank that shit for now, get straight back out there. Like I say, I'm hoping that the ones that we damaged are still... Oh shit, I didn't bring any food. Oops, guess I'll have to do without this trip. Having to bank them may stop me from getting that hit point level. To be honest, I think we can survive without food. Most of the time I end up just digging it for advent space anyway. Like, it's more of always just... A little safety net in the back pocket than anything else. And my thing got unset. Oh, that one. I'm gonna need to be a little more careful with my HP this time, though, of course. Yeah, honestly, I haven't really had any issues. My HP has been fine most of the time that I've uh, been here on this trip without any food, so we probably don't really need to bring any food. Maybe just a couple lobsters to be safe, but most of it gets wasted. It's looking like we're just gonna get this hit points level in. There it is! 73 hit points. Had some incredible gains today. I've had the tab open on the side the whole way, but I haven't actually looked at it because my screen's too big and I'm too focused on these zombies. We are slowly getting used to the new screen size though, slowly and steadily. Y'all can see my XP rates, I ain't got a clue. I just feel like it's been a good day. And yeah, if you couldn't tell, we're skipping the end bird houses today slash in future. Except when I've just got a couple minutes to spare, but I'm not planning for them anymore. We don't really need the money that much. The money's not that great in comparison to what we're making it elsewhere at this stage, so... Just better to get a few extra minutes in per day of grinding whatever XP we're trying to get at the time. Alright, my prayer's about to die, so I'm just gonna get out of here. Just kind of making sure this doesn't drop an axe. No axes. Okay, we're going. There's a Renar weed. Oops. Mr. Renar. Mr. Renar. What about Mrs. Renard? Where's she at? <laughs> Try to find Mrs. Renard, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Don't talk to me about Mr. Renard. Oh, what a fucking day. 177k. We're, we're popping off, y'all. I don't know what the fuck is happening, but we are popping the hell off. Things are going so well. All I needed was for my laptop to spontaneously combust and apparently that meant that my RNG was going to be incredible when I came back. So I, I thank you new PC for doing this for me. Thank you streamer luck for doing this for me. Two fucking zombie axes. We've done 713 kills now so we're nearing the drop rate for our first axe and we've already got two. Who knows how many more 
could potentially be on the way. The bank is stacked at the minute. We've got 4.3 mil there, plus runes for another day at least. We've got about, I can't actually see it, but there's about 2.5 mil in the bank there. In the collection box thing, in the grand exchange. Yes, words hard, difficult, ruin. Uh... Why have I got 83 Baronite Shards? If anyone knows the answer to that question, leave it in the comments. Leave a like while you're at it. And yeah, we're rich as fuck. We're rich as fuck. We got great XP today. We're almost level 72 magic now. We got 81,000 XP. Probably the highest XP we've ever had on the series without quest rewards being involved. That is actually pretty damn good i'm very pleased with myself for today Fifty thousand hit points xp like that's that's good you know and we've got a decent amount of defense as well we're chugging along towards level 68 if we had the same rate tomorrow we would hit 68 and we'll be along the way to 73 magic as well probably around midway so those grinds are getting progressed I'm kind of hoping that we can get up to 70 defense before going to finish my attack training. One, so I don't have to keep swapping on and off Ancients. I can just stay on Ancients and do this for a few days and then be done with it. And two, because then we'll have Piety and it just increase our strength by an extra 5% along with our accuracy by an extra 5%. So it, it's not nothing, you know, it would speed up whatever training we are doing and there's no extra prayer point cost for it. It drains exactly the same rate as chivalry. So it's a straight upgrade. If we can get those extra levels up to 70 before going to finish off our attack up to 70, that would be the preferable option. I'm just hoping we get there along the way to 75 magic. And yeah, other than that, we've got Beneath Curse Sands to do. We've got a Mage Cape to get still. But I think we need level 75 for Mage Arena. I don't know, that's 60. Maybe it's the second one. Yeah, the second one you need 75 for. So we can't do that anyway until we've got our level requirements. And I'll probably wait until we've got the 75. So that I can do both Mage Arena 1 and 2 in a single session, hopefully. Or, you know, in a single stretch of time. Focus. Yes. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, tell me in the comments how great my second zombie axe is and how it makes my ass look fat. Until next time, look after yourselves, be lovely to one another, and I'll see you on the next one.